Activation and basic usage of Blender Kit in Blender 3.6. Activation. Visit our website blenderkit.com. Click on Download Blender Kit. On the page, click on the button to download the add on. Open Blender. Go to Preferences, Open Add ons. Click on Install and find the downloaded zip file in your Downloads folder. Blender Kit will appear in the add-ons list. Click on checkbox to enable Blender Kit. A small picture tutorial shows you the UI of Blender Kit. Great, we just installed Blender Kit. You can start using it right away with the free plan. But if you want to enjoy all the features of Blender Kit, sign up. In the designated fields, enter your email and chosen password to register. An email confirmation will be sent to your email inbox to finalize your registration. Click on the link within the email to activate your account. This will take you directly to our website, where you can agree to our terms and select which type of newsletter you would like to receive from us. Account and Login You can log in in the sidebar or in the add-on preferences. Click on Login. This will automatically take you to our website where you will enter your login information, email and password. By confirming login and authorize, you are done. User Interface, Header a Sidebar. The Blender Kit add-on can be found in two places in the 3D viewport. At the top in the header, and in the sidebar, which you open with the shortcut N, in the Blender Kit tab. In the header, you'll find quick access to search and browse assets. And in the sidebar, you'll find the same but also other things you'll need less often, like upload, login, and import settings. Search and usage. Let's start with the search from the header. Here we have a toggle for different types of assets. Models, materials, scenes, HDRs, and brushes. You can see that the asset bar immediately appears, showing the latest assets. We can show or hide it at any time with the eye icon. In the middle is a search field where we enter a search. To the right of it are bookmarks, categories, and search filters. Let's try to make a simple render of a product. I'm going to go into Scenes and try to find a product placement scene. Maybe this scene looks pretty natural. I can click or drag it to download it. It'll pop up if I want to append the scene. Note that the download is non-blocking, so I can keep working. Once the scene is downloaded, I can switch to render mode and see the result if I have a newer graphics card. Let's try to find some product in the models. Maybe a figure. This bird looks cool. I can right-click on it and see more information. Among other things, I can search for similar models. I can rate or comment on the model. When dragged into the scene, the object snaps to the surface and we can see its bounding box. With the mouse wheel, we can also rotate the object. The arrow on the bounding box shows the front side. As soon as I place the model, the download starts. I can then adjust the model to fit the composition. Let's try changing some material, like the wood of the windowsill. I'll go into the materials and search for some dark wood, but more glossy than what's in the scene. Dragging it onto the object will pull the material straight into the correct material slot. I can see that this wood doesn't have the right rotation, so I'll go into shading and adjust its mapping. 
All the assets in Blender Kit are made in Blender 3D, so I can do whatever I'm used to with them. This looks great, so I hit F12 and I see I have a finished image after 2 minutes. If you tried it with me, congratulations on your first image made using Blender Kit. I wish you to enjoy exploring, with the help of scene templates and the huge amount of assets, you have unlimited possibilities at your fingertips.